Hi, I'm Ken Cameron from Music Tech Student. In today's session, we're going to look at exam preparation, um, and in particular, component three and understanding the content. Now, if you're new to this channel, uh, musictechstudent.co.uk is a massive resource area for music technology. Um, every year we try to produce new content or update the old content relevant to what the users, the students and the teachers need. If you haven't checked us out before, please head on over to Music Tech Student and check us out. If you like what we're doing here on the YouTube channel, give us a like. Um, subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers we get, the more content that we can deliver. Currently, we're aiming to do at least one piece of content a week. So, without further ado, let's move on. So, component three. We're going to look at the areas of study, or the three areas of study, and the content that goes into them. We're going to look at any history and development questions that might come up. And then finally, we're going to look at the genres um, that you're going to need to understand for your listening. So, let's move over to the presentation. So in this first area of study, we're going to look at recording and production techniques. So this will look at everything that you've learned from components one, recording, and component two, technology-based composition. So the first area is recording and sequencing. So you're going to need to understand how to capture sounds. Um, you're going to need to understand synthesis and sampling. Once again, these will normally come from, well, every question you get in component three will be a track. So you'll get... Um, a song to listen to and then you'll get asked relevant questions based on that song so it could be that they ask you how was this recorded for a certain decade or what was manipulated in the synthesis to make that particular sound um, or how has sampling been used Um, the next area then is audio editing. So this encompasses all the basic audio editing techniques, but it also looks at pitch and rhythm correction and manipulation. A lot or a big part of this exam will look at mixing techniques. So you'll need to understand and be able to recognize things like automation, dynamic processing, stereo, the stereo field and how things are panned, EQ and filtering, um, different kinds of creative effects and how they've been applied and the parameters used for those effects. And then finally we'll need to look at balance and blending of tracks. Um, a smaller part of this particular area study is going to be mastering. You will get general mastering questions but they, they don't tend to be massive for this particular exam. So moving on to area study 2 which is the principle of sound and audio technology. You will need to understand and recognize that things like how things have been recorded or room treatment. You'll also need to know about signal flow and the types of leads that you could use. If you're doing the A level, not the AS, you'll also need to know about numeracy, being able to recognize graphs, um, axis on a graph, e.g. Um, an EQ or a compression, compression graph. You'll also need to know about conversions like um, decimals, frequencies, binary, and, and just general things like that. And the final one, you'll need to look at levels. Once again, it's levels and balancing and and distortion and things like that that, that actually come up. So, for, com for area study three, you're going to need to know about the development of recording and production technology. This does cut, tend to come up quite a bit in the look at the dawn and how things are used in the dawn. So software and hardware looking at the digital point of view and then hardware looking at the analog point of view. So you will need to know about tape. You will need to know about multi-tracking um, and how a track or a, a channel on a mixing desk works. Um, it looks like they're pointing more and more towards these kinds of questions, especially the analog field, which always causes my students a, a lot of issues um, because we, we always do, we, our whole studio is built around a digital technology, so we don't have any or, um, analog technology. So we do have to do lots of research about how this works and who is applying it. And I would definitely say that you need, you need to understand this for this exam. So then we move on to the history and development questions. So these are going to come from five areas. 
Um, it's important to note that these five areas actually do encompass pretty much everything you've used and its development. So just be very aware of that. So digital audio workstations and emerging technologies. So that could look at effects, it could look at microphones, it could look at anything that's new on a, on a DAW or digital audio workstation. Then you're going to get digital recording and sequencing. So once again, this could look at the invention of the DAW and the way that analog technologies merged into digital technologies. You're then going to look more at the analog stuff. So you're going to look at large scale analog multi-tracking or early multi-track recordings. And then finally, direct to tape mono recordings. And once again, analog is likely to come up and it's going likely to be quite a big part of this exam so make sure you do your research make sure you have this covered um, in one of the slides later I will show you some of the resources that we have to help you with this as well over on music tech student so the final area that you need to understand is each question will have a song related to it and the song can come from any of these areas it's less likely that the songs will come from earlier genres so jazz um, and blues in their original form, I've never seen come up. Um, that's not to say they won't, but it, that's never happened. Rock and roll does come up. We've seen that in several of the past exams. So you will need to know about these, but it, it doesn't really start to get interesting in terms of music technology until this rock and roll era. Evolving genres will definitely come up. So rock, metal, punk, soul, disco, funk, and reggae. They'll all come up with lots of technologies, lots of musical devices were happening for these eras middle of the road once again this doesn't tend to come up very much um, acoustic and folk music modern genres um, it's going to be a massive part of the exam so commercial pop urban electronic dance music and so on and then finally music for the media and this has never come up before but then this is new for this particular specification and that's how music is used in computer games and how music is used in films and specifically looking at the technology related to those and once again it's very hard to determine what's going to come up in that area because we've, we've not had that before so one of the questions that keeps coming up is what resources do music tech student have for components 3 and components 4 for that matter so at this point we're just going to head on over to music tech student and just show you some of the resources it is important to note that we don't have a full range of resources for components three and four yet. We are working towards them. Um, every year it gets bigger. So this is only the first year that we've started developing for, for these particular exams. So just be patient with us, but they are coming and we're gonna do lots and lots um, as we go through. It has taken us quite a long time to kind of build up the resources for component one and two, um, hence that is so low. But that being said, we have, um, lots of practice papers that you can do for both components three and four we also have some revision sessions currently we're at seven um, but we're building on this all the time and then the final area if you scroll right down we do have some we do have some genre based um, courses as well but to be fair they're going to be probably more than you need to know at this point we are building a new course for all the genres looking at the technologies looking at the artists and looking at things that could come up in the exam but once again it's it's in early development the one that you will be able to make quite a lot of use of, use of which is really quite low down it was one of the first courses that we ever did all those years ago about 10 years ago and this is this history and development of music technology um, and this has loads and loads i mean in in the day we, we were just in the last exam this this came up quite a bit and we made sure that we we had loads of resources we are rebuilding this because some of them aren't relevant anymore but more often than not you will be able to use this so if we head on over to this and just show you what's available so we've sectioned them out We've got general music technology and history and development. We've got microphone, synthesis, sampling and drum machines, electric guitars, effects and processing, recording and mixing, MIDI and co computer technology. Um, and at the bottom, we have a lot of the essay questions from the previous specification as well. So there's absolutely loads there to kind of get stuck into. Um, have a look 
um, some of it's free, most of it's premium content. So if you want to subscribe to Music Station Student to get this content, at the moment, um, if you head on over to the subscription page, it's nine ninety a month, and you can cancel any time. There's no, there's no commitment there to to stay involved for any longer than one month. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's pretty much everything we can offer you at this particular time. Um, we're going to try and do one of these videos every week just to try and show you what's available or what you need to understand for these courses. So the next one we're going to look at exam preparation for component four and, and understanding the content. So if you like this content and you want to see more of it or if you want to give us some advice and just kind of say look could you do this, could you do this, um, give us a comment below. We read the comments, we'll try and reply to as many of them as we can. So happy revising and I'll see you in the next video.